Hi, my name is Kawan. My name is Michael Lucero. My name is Vitero Valdez. I'm Joseph Raglan. My name is John Lopez. I look forward to telling you guys about my journey. I'd like to share with you not to be afraid to hire a felon. Hi guys, I'm Manny. I'm here at Rise Up Industries. It's an apprenticeship to teach guys CNC machining. I uh, was a member, I'm an alumni. I've been, uh, been machining now about five years, 18 months here and a little over two years at uh, another shop. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a plaque and then after that, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Okay, so I just finished probing my uh, work offset. Prior to that, I probed my tools. I will show you what it's gonna look like. Obviously, it's already there, but we'll run it again. Just to uh, safety proof the program, which once again, Darren's programs came out solid. It represents Rise Up Industries. I'm one of the best alumni that ever left here. We'll slowly run this at 25%, even though it looks like everything's good. Uh, make sure I have it on my right offset. And that's a spot drill. in there there is an M8 take off the coolant double check it does it look like it's almost 49th out above the part it does it's good to go it's gonna spot drill in four places come up that's my drill it's gonna go all the way through so I can run a 632 uh, bolt through it later it's about right 100th out above the part That's my email going in to do the counterbore so that when I put the 632 bolts in there, uh, it'll either be flush or underneath the surface of it. And this is the last tool. It's a ball nose end mill that's gonna do the engraving. Make sure it's where it should be, 100, almost 178 above the part, looks about right. I was running all the tools at 25, but now I'm running it at 100, only because it's a new program and it's a setup. Usually when you already have your parts running, you can run them at full capacity. Let's see how it comes out. This is gonna go on my toolbox. So I wanted to make sure that the counterboards were deep enough for the 632 bolt to fit in there and rest. And it looks like it's a perfect job. All right guys, thank you for watching me as I made my little project. Now we'll sit down and I'll share a little bit about my story and my journey from a member of Rise Up Industries to an alumni of Rise Up Industries to a CNC machinist at a shop that's 40 plus years old. I went to prison when I was 16 years old. Uh, I did a little over 22 years straight. Um, I spent most of that time in solitary confinement uh, as a mixed blessing because you're around a, a lot of books and a lot of time to study and read. So even though I didn't study up on nothing about CNC machining, I think it, it helped prepare me to, to try to remember things. Uh, as a lot of you machinists will know, you got to remember the codes, you got to remember certain things on the machines, be it uh, verticals, or horizontals, or, or lathe. Um, uh, so I paroled in uh, 2017, um, started doing odd jobs, but understood that I needed something that was going to be long term that I can, you know, ride out the rest of my life. And uh, I heard about Rise Up Industries uh, through uh, a church prison ministry that I was attending. Um, so I took advantage of the opportunity, came down, met Joe and the guys here. Uh, they gave me an opportunity. And uh, at first it was a struggle, didn't know not much or anything at all about uh, machining, much less uh, tools and G codes and M codes and 
and all the stuff that goes along with that. Uh, but after 18, 18 months here, um, I had learned the foundations of machining, uh, took that and applied it once I graduated and uh, ended up with a full-time job at a machine shop. Uh, I've grown from there. Um, I'm at a point now where I can set up relatively any job. My programming skills have gotten a lot better. Um, I can run anything from, from verticals to lace, uh, some fourth axis. A little bit of experience at fifth axis. Won't say I'm a fifth axis guy. Um, would love to be one day. Um, but that's been my journey as far as machining. It's been a lot of hard work and dedication. And I always tell guys that I work with at the shop that I'm at who are new like me or the members here, uh, you have to eat, sleep, and breathe this trade or probably any trade if you want to succeed in it long term. It's not something that you can come in and clock, clock in and clock out at eight hours and go home and just forget about it. Maybe, maybe after you've put, put in a lot of years, you probably just want to go home and just relax with the family. But when you're, when you're still a student, when you're still an apprentice at, at, at this trade, I, I genuinely believe that you have to eat, sleep, and breathe this. I mean, it has to be the, the focus of your life outside of your responsibilities at home. Um, and it also helps you stay on track for, for people that were and are in my situation. You come out and you're getting this second chance, maybe some are third, fourth, whatever it may be. Um, it keeps you on track. It keeps you focused. Uh, I love to learn. Um, but I think one of the most crucial things for me succeeding in general outside of machining is uh, your home life will affect your work life. And uh, I, I have to give thanks to my family for, for always uh, supporting me and being there for me. And Maliciana, Juni, everybody knows who they are. Uh, so I, I think for, for any members coming through RUI or, or even alumni, um, the foundation of your success in machining is not just your work ethic and your hard work and dedication that you put into it. It's, it's who you surround yourself with and who's your support base and uh, who will keep you focused when you want to get distracted with day-to-day -day life stuff. Um, so I would say the hugest part for me has been my family and uh, the joy and the, and the good times that we have together. Um, if there's any questions about Rise Up Industries and what they've done and what they continue to do for the community, and in particular guys like me who have gotten out of prison and are just, just trying to make the best of what's left of their lives, um, feel free to reach out to them, reach out to me, um, and we'll gladly answer all your questions. Thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for our next and last video coming up next month.